let's be clear. Money is important. <laughs> Unfortunately, in this matrix we live in, you have to pay for your shelter. You have to pay for your food. You have to pay for your clothes. But money is not everything. And I already know, if you're living in survival mode and you're struggling, you're not trying to hear that. I understand. But it's really not. You think money will solve all your problems, but it won't. It'll only solve your financial problems. And you think, oh, well, that's the only problems I have. No, it's not. You're just distracted by the fact that you're living in survival mode and you're just trying to pay your bills and survive. But as soon as you get taken out of that, that's when the real demons come. That's when that unresolved trauma comes. That's when things that you forgot about, things that you suppressed, that's when it all comes out when you no longer have financial issues. Why do you think it's people that are billionaires that end up killing themselves? It's because they are empty. It's because they don't have God in their life. It's because they thought, once I get this amount of money, then I'll finally feel complete. Then I'll finally be happy. Then I'll finally feel like my life is worth living. I'll finally feel important enough. But once they got to that point, they realized, I feel the same. <laughs> it was fun at first. I felt a high at first. It boosted my ego at first, but now I feel the same. I was listening to this podcast the other day and this guy was talking about how he thought his best friend had everything. And superficially, materially, he did. He was rich, he was successful, but he ended up blowing his brains out because he didn't have God. These were his words. And that's what people don't understand. God is the key. God is the money. You can have all the money in the world, but if you don't have God, you will always feel an emptiness. You will always feel a void. When you truly have a connection to God, when you truly know God, that helps you to love yourself. And when you love yourself, you love life. <laughs> you love living not based on how much is in your bank account, but for the simple fact that you have God in your life. And you know, as long as you have God, you have everything. So it doesn't matter if you're making $50,000 a year or a million dollars a year. It doesn't really move the needle because you already rich in the spirit. Money only amplifies who you already are. So if you depressed and stressed and feeling down, guess what? Once you get that money, you gonna feel even worse. Yes, at first, it's gonna be fun. You are gonna be on a high, like, oh, I'm rich. I get to do this, I get to do that. But after a while, it's gonna get boring. I've heard so many stories of rich people saying they don't know what to do with their money. They're bored. <laughs> They've done everything they could do. Like, that's because you need to have God in your life and you need to truly love yourself. If you don't have those two things, the money is not really going to make a difference. The only thing it's going to make a difference is you ain't going to be stressing about how you pay your bills. <laughs> I so happen to serve a lot of these wealthy people here in Atlanta. And they live in these big ass houses and drive Rolls Royces and Bentleys and got gate codes in order for you to get to the house. All types of stuff, right? And when I interact with them, I can pick up on the anxiety. I can pick up on the stress. I can sense the insecurities. I can even sense the emptiness. And they don't feel that way because they're rich. They felt that way before they became rich and becoming rich only amplified that. So what do they do? They have vices to help them cope, to help them numb themselves. How do I know this? Well, because I do a lot of alcohol deliveries. <laughs> People here in Atlanta love to drink. That's one thing that I observed very early on, <laughs> there will be times I will deliver to a soccer mom on a Tuesday at 11 o'clock in the day. And when I come to deliver the alcohol to her, she don't be looking happy. She don't be looking excited. She be looking stressed. There was even a lady I delivered alcohol to twice in one day. <laughs> and the second time I came, 
I could tell she was embarrassed, but she was really sweet. I'm just making a point that these people are not happy. You think that, oh, because they have money, they have it all. No, they don't. The only thing they have that you don't have is money. And God, I have sat with billionaires and more than one, and they have leaned over and said to me, we are miserable. We are in agony. We can't even we can't even enjoy a sunset like uh, because <laughs> money has nothing or success has nothing to do with genuine, authentic joy, and and mastering yourself, overcoming yourself, in so many ways, creates so much wholeness and order in the nervous system, so much wholeness that you don't want anything anymore, and and that's a great moment when you feel so whole that you no longer want. That, that's the moment you're free. I'm not saying all this to discourage you from working towards being wealthy. I'm working towards becoming wealthy because I want to be able to pay my mom's bills. <laughs> but understand, true wealth, true wealth, true joy, true happiness comes from God. Having God in your life first and foremost. If you have that, everything else is going to fall into place. There was a point in time I had more money saved than I do now. And I have more disposable income because my rent wasn't as expensive as it is living here in Atlanta. And I was sharing bills with my boyfriend at the time. Do you think I was happier? No, hell no, I wasn't happier because guess what? I did not have God in my life. Now that I have the connection I have with God and the understanding I have of God, I have so much joy in my heart every day I wake up. I cry almost every day and it's not because I'm sad. It's because I have so much gratitude in my heart. I'm so joyful. I'm so thankful. That comes from God. It don't come from how much is in my bank account. Another really important thing that I forgot to mention was I was listening to this interview of a millionaire who died and came back to life. Prior to him dying, he said he was working 80 hours a week. And granted, he wasn't working a nine to five because he had his own businesses, but he said he was working himself into the ground. And after he came back to life, he said he realized money was not the key to happiness because he had a lot of money, but he wasn't happy. And he started selling all his businesses and all his business partners thought he was crazy. But um, yeah, after that, he became more spiritual. And of course, he became closer to God. And that's why I say God is the key. Matthew 6, 33. That scripture is written in my head with permanent marker. <laughs> Matthew 6, 33. Do what God has called you to do. Maintain a close relationship with God and ask him to lead you to the wealth. But make sure you're asking for the right reason. Because if it's not to share, if it's not to give, and it's just to flex on people and be like, look at me, I'm rich, I can buy this, I can buy that. That's not a good reason. I love y'all. I pray this message was helpful. If it was, make sure you like it, make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.